Hi, I'm Chef Drew from the Oakland Road High V, and I am going to teach you how to make a shrimp and lobster Alfredo, um, a nice Cajun Alfredo for Valentine's Day for you and your loved one. Um, it's real simple, easy, um, not too many ingredients, and just something to really spruce up and make your uh, your Valentine have a great night. So what we're going to start off with is I got a pan heating up on medium heat. We're going to add some olive oil, some pancetta. If you don't have any pancetta or are against some pancetta, just go ahead and use bacon, applewood smoked bacon, um, any flavored bacon that you really care for. Going to turn up the heat a little bit. And we want to get this until it's nice, brown, and crispy, and all the fat renders out. And we're going to use that to cook our lobster and our shrimp in to just get some added flavor going in there. So it's going to take about a couple minutes. While this is going, we're going to go ahead and add our pasta. Today I'm going to use penne pasta. It's a nice, small uh, pasta that fills up with the sauce, so it's just, it, it just makes a great dish. If you don't like penne or like an additional pasta, go ahead and use which one ever you want you care for. But I got in boiling water right here. I'm going to go ahead and add that right now. So our pancetta is getting nice and crispy. The, flat, the fat is rendered all out. So we're going to start sauteing our vegetables for the dish. I got up some uh, chopped up asparagus, give it a nice color, some red onion, about a cup and a half of asparagus and about a cup of uh, red onion, yellow uh, bell pepper, or orange bell pepper, I'm sorry, just gives it a nice color, something to impress your sweetheart on Valentine's, give it a couple toss, get a little bit of a saute, make sure our noodles are cooking, they're about halfway there. We're going to add some garlic, about two, three cloves of garlic, some salt, a couple pinches of kosher salt, some cracked black pepper, all right, just give this a little bit of saute. You want the onions to start to get a little translucent and the peppers and the asparagus get a little tender in with the pancetta. Once you get, like I said, when the onions are translucent and the vegetables get a little tender, um, we're going to add our shrimp. I got uh, some jumbo peeled and deveined shrimp. Just going to add that right to the pot. Get this a stir. Want to make sure we get it cooking evenly. We're going to add the lobster last due to the fact that the lobster is already cooked. I cooked it pound lobster, about 10 minutes, threw it in ice water, cooled it, and then cut up the meat um, for this dish just to save preparation time. Now, after we add the shrimp, I'm going to add my Cajun seasoning. This is a seasoning I make at the Oakland Road store. It's got paprika, oregano, thyme, crushed red peppers, cayenne pepper, garlic, kosher salt. It's a really good blend of uh, ingredients here just to make this nice, sweet, and spicy. The more the merrier. If you, I like it a little spicy. If you don't, you can cut off a little bit. But that's just going to give this dish just a gorgeous red color. So the shrimp's about halfway done. Get some good color. Mix it up. Make sure both sides are going to cook evenly. Once it get to this point, we're going to add about two cups of heavy cream. And we're going to keep this on a medium high to high heat because we want the heavy cream to get all bubbly. It's going to start thickening up. And then here, um, when the shrimp are about three-fourths of the way cooked, we're going to add some Parmesan cheese. That's really going to help it get creamy and just melty delicious. So the shrimp's three-fourths of the way cooked. We're going to go ahead and add the Parmesan cheese here just to, to get the sauce to be a rich and start thickening it up even a little bit more. And once this becomes nice and melted and um, blended in really nice, we're going to add our pasta and it's time to enjoy. All right, the cheese is all melted together. The sauce is thickening up really nice. We're going to add our uh, lobster and like I said, we're adding it at the end because it's already pre-cooked and you don't want tough, uh, chewy lobster. So we're going to add the lobster meat, mix it all up. 
We're going to add our drained penne pasta. Cook nice and al dente with still a little bit of chew. Mix this up really good. And after we're nice and mixed up, we're going to go ahead and plate up. Pour it in your nice big serving bowl. And add our Parmesan cheese right top. And there is the lobster and shrimp Cajun Alfredo. Enjoy.